The Zodiac Stone of Dendera One of the most spectacular discoveries that scientists can't explain is the Zodiac Stone of Dendera. This stone comes from ancient Egypt and was taken from the roof of the legendary Temple of Hathor. Within the stone slab, there are 36 spirits around the circumference which are believed to represent the 360 days of the Egyptian calendar. Deeper within the Zodiac Stone, there are the symbols of the Zodiac, most of which you would recognize today. But seeing as this artifact is ancient Egyptian, there are some Zodiac symbols that you definitely wouldn't recognize, such as the Hippopotamus Goddess, the Great Bear, and the Constellation of the Dragon. But many scientists believe this stone is one of the first examples of the Zodiac ever to be used. Between its original discovery hundreds of years ago and the astrology pages of your local newspaper, a few things have changed. The Zodiac Stone of Dendero was transported to France in 1821, according to the official Louvre website. But rather than being interpreted as a giant horoscope, it was used in ancient times as a map of the sky. The Egyptians simply added a bit of artistic flair by creating effigies for the different months. The Zodiac Stone shows a distinct mixture of Egyptian, Greek, Roman, and even Babylonian astrological theories. When exactly the design of this slab of stone was transformed into the type of Zodiac map we use today is still unknown. Unexplained Radio Beam Astronomers in 2020 identified a strange radio beam that they have never been able to explain. Astronomers discovered the most realistic candidate ever for an alien signal. Researchers working at the Breakthrough Listen Project found the strange beam of radio light being sent to us from our nearest neighboring star system. The star is known as Proxima Centauri, and according to the report from New Science, the researchers who discovered the signal don't have any idea what it is. They are saying that it's the closest thing to an alien signal that humans have ever discovered, even more likely than the infamous WOW signal. If you're wondering how exactly they discovered this signal and what it is, it happened at the Parkes Observatory in Australia while the team examined data from a recent search for stellar flares coming from the Proxima Centauri. What they found instead were strange signals that sounded a lot like extraterrestrial beacons. There appeared to be some sort of algorithm within the signals that researchers claimed could perhaps be from an intelligent technology, something like a satellite. There was an additional signal that went on for a full three hours and was concentrated in such a narrow range of wavelength that it almost seemed as if somebody sent a direct beam of information to our planet. Unfortunately, some of the researchers say that it could just be some sort of radio interference from technology on Earth rather than incidental contact with an alien civilization. But then again, we simply don't know. Nobody can decode the radio signal, nobody has any idea what it means, and it came from 4.2 light years away, near a star that has at least two planets in its orbit. What do you think would happen if we actually did encounter aliens? Would Earth be invaded? Would we be able to fight off the extraterrestrials? Or could we coexist in peace? Tell me what you think in the comments section below, then be sure to subscribe to Taltanic for more awesome videos just like this one. A Parallel Universe Speaking of crazy science, bizarre particles observed during an experiment in Antarctica have led researchers to believe that there could be an alternate reality where everything is backwards. It sounds totally insane, but listen to this. The experiment involved giant balloons with a collection of antennas floating over the Antarctic ice scanning for high energy particles from space. What the experiment discovered instead was that there were particles exploding out of the ground not being sent from space at all. This went down back in 2016. Since then, scientists have been poring over this bizarre data trying to make sense of it. How are all these high energy particle bursts being emitted from the ground? The only theory that has really taken root is one that has left those who study physics baffled. To explain the origin of the signals detected during the experiment, scientists have put forth that there could be an upside down universe created at the exact same time as our own, except that it's going in the wrong direction. It's a mirror world of ours parallel to our own existence, but everything is running backwards. It's a strange theory and one that will make your brain explode if you think about it too hard. Extraordinary Nails New archaeological evidence is bringing back one of the most controversial ideas in the world. Two iron nails from ancient Rome have been discovered in an unmarked box that had been delivered mysteriously to Tel Aviv University in Israel. Some people now believe that these iron nails were the nails lost from the tomb of the Jewish priest Caiaphas, who supposedly presided over the death of Jesus Christ. Basically, new evidence is saying that these nails were actually used to crucify Jesus on the cross. But as you can imagine, this type of discovery is not without its controversy. Scientists don't completely know what to make of these iron nails. Slivers of wood and bone have been found on the nails, suggesting they had indeed been used in a crucifixion. 
The lead researchers from the project even came out and said that the nails are not 100% proof that Jesus of Nazareth was crucified in Jerusalem in 33 AD, but that they had definitely been used to crucify someone. The biggest issue is that nobody knows where the nails came from. According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, they were likely excavated from a tomb in the 1970s, but this was many years before Caiaphas' tomb was discovered. There are definitely some inconsistencies in the story, and unfortunately, until a time machine is developed, we'll probably never know the truth of what really happened with these mysterious nails. The Far Side of the Moon The moon is not a very large place. It's a pretty small hunk of rock circulating around our Earth but that has not stopped all kinds of strange and unexplainable discoveries from being made on its dull gray surface. For example, the Chang'e 4 lunar rover from China recently discovered a mysterious gel substance while exploring the far side of the moon. The rover's mission was immediately abandoned so that the Chinese scientists could focus on trying to determine the origins of the unbelievable material. This all went down while the rover was cruising through an area with a lot of small impact craters. It then randomly stumbled upon a tiny crater that contained the bizarre goop. Apparently, the slime has an unusual color and could have been created from a meteorite hitting the surface of the moon and melting into a glass-like gel substance. However, it could also be some kind of slime monster eager to take over the planet and eat all of our brains. That's probably not the case, but just to be sure, we probably should not be bringing back any extraterrestrial goo that we find on the moon. To this day, scientists still are not sure what the oddly colored stuff was or how it got there. Africa and Alabama Perhaps one of the strangest discoveries from recent memory was back when scientists discovered what they claimed to be a slab of Africa wedged underneath Alabama. If this sounds completely ridiculous, that's because it is. But it's probably true nonetheless. The Times even did a story on it. Geologists reportedly found the chunk of Africa still stuck under the American continent over 250 million years after the two pieces of land had separated. According to the geologists from the study, the piece of Africa probably got stuck during a tectonic collision back when Africa and America were still part of a supercontinent. But you're probably wondering how the piece of land could even be identified as Africa. It doesn't make any kind of sense, but it was able to be identified because of unusual magnetic readings from below the surface of the Earth. It's not actually that complex. By studying these weird magnetic readings, geologists were able to determine that a large portion of the rock deep beneath Alabama and other parts of the southeastern United States was once part of Africa. They determined this by looking at the density and the age of the rock. To understand this a little better, think about America and Africa like different pieces of stone. 250 million years ago, the two pieces of stone were fused together, but then they exploded apart and a piece of Africa got left behind inside of America, almost like scar tissue. What exactly that means for the scientific community is still a bit of a mystery. Void in the Pyramid Nothing has baffled scientists for longer than the Great Pyramid of Giza. And one of the strangest things that scientists still can't figure out are the voids within the pyramid. Everyone knows that there's a massive king's chamber and queen's chamber located within the megalithic structure. Most people also know that there are shafts and passageways deep inside the pyramid that nobody can see from outside. However, almost nobody knows that there is a massive void in the center of the pyramid and scientists aren't sure what's in it or how to find out. Scientists don't even know if there is anything of value inside the void. It was only discovered after Japanese and French scientists checked for density changes inside the large rock structure using advanced machines. According to a report from the BBC, two voids were discovered using this method, the biggest of which is located located just above the Grand Gallery. The big mystery here is that nobody knows what is inside the void. There's no way to reach it. The only way to get into the void would be to break the pyramid open like an egg and take a look. Some experts are saying that the cavity might not even be a chamber, but simply an empty compartment that had been incorporated by the builders to keep the overall structure from collapsing. Then again, it could be a secret chamber filled with unspeakable treasures and unholy curses. Earthquake Lights Earthquake lights are some of the strangest phenomena on the planet. To this day, scientists have no idea what causes them. Earthquake lights are strange flashes that appear in the sky when there is a tectonic disaster. To simplify it, when there is an earthquake or a volcanic eruption, strange lights can often be seen hovering in the sky like UFOs. The lights sometimes look similar to the aurora borealis, a kind of neon wave that ripples across the sky. The phenomenon is not understood by scientists, reported sightings are vague at best, and nobody has any idea if they're even real. One of the first sightings of earthquake lights happened during the 869 Sanriku earthquake in Japan. 
There have been countless reports of earthquake lights since, as recently as 2018 when blinking lights were seen during the 8.2 magnitude earthquake in Mexico City. Lights were also seen during April of 2011 when the Sakurajima volcano exploded in Japan. They were witnessed in 2007 in Peru, in 2003 in Mexico, in 2016 in New England, and scientists can't even begin to explain why. Naga Fireballs if you're familiar with the Mekong River, the mighty body of water that flows through much of Southeast Asia, you'll know it's one of the most beautiful places on Earth. And in a land where miracles and heavenly forces are things to be reckoned with, Naga fireballs have a special place in the local lore. Specifically in Northeast Thailand, where Naga fireballs are seen as flaming orbs breathed forth by a fearsome river serpent from Buddhist lore. It's basically the Loch Ness Monster of Thailand, and it apparently breathes fire. But what's really strange about this is that there have been countless witnesses of fireballs exploding from the surface of the Mekong River. It's a fact that this actually happens, and while it's almost certainly not the breath of a fearsome naga, scientists don't know what it is. The stories are definitely enchanting, and countless people have seen the fiery balls of light spewing out of the river, but it's a complete anomaly that scientists cannot explain. The only relatively sane theory is that the fireballs are the result of methane gas bubbling from the bottom of the Mekong River and the concentration of UV radiation from the sun along with the heightened gravitational pull causes the methane leaving the riverbed to catch fire because of unstable levels of oxygen. That's a lot to swallow, but it's the best theory that scientists have to explain these mysterious fireballs. Ancient Cold Case there's nothing more exciting than a cold case murder file. But what about a case so cold that it's 430,000 years old? All we know about this case is that the cause of death was blunt force trauma and it happened nearly half a million years ago. The victim's identity is unknown and we do not have any suspects. According to the report from Live Science, what archaeologists do know is that the murder victim had their head bashed in. This is the oldest cold case ever unveiled to the world. Archaeologists first discovered the victim's skull inside of a bone pit in Spain. Judging by the wounds visible at the top of the cranium, archaeologists are saying that another human likely killed this person either with a spear or with a hand axe. It looks like our ancient ancestors had some serious anger problems. The site of this discovery is known as the Pit of Bones, and it's a place where researchers discovered the skeletal remains of at least 28 people. To this day, scientists don't know why so many bodies were buried in the same pit, but they have speculated that it could be one of the oldest graveyards in the world. As for the unfortunate victim, no murder weapon has been found, and it's unlikely that any arrests will be made considering the murderer is almost certainly a skeleton by now and has been for a long time. Do you have any explanations for these startling discoveries? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to come back soon for another amazing video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.